guys thank you very much for dropping on by this is episode 24 of the football manager creator showcase i am the custard prophet thank you very very much for uh, uh clicking on the link so if you're not familiar with the uh, the creator showcase this is essentially a place where i invite a couple of creators who make football manager content on youtube on twitch or any other platform really to come and talk about their channels uh, it's not really a place where i tell you an awful lot it's it's all about their content so they'll tell you about um, what their channels are all about why they got started um, and the sort of people they enjoy watching themselves um, if, if that is the sort of thing that you will you think you'll enjoy well stick on um, stick on stick on stick on around because we have two awesome creators for you today um, we have one very long-standing YouTube creator uh, he's been had been doing it for a, a good few years and he's got a lot of subs as a result of that um, one of the one of the really good guys of, of, of FM and the other guy is uh, a twitch streamer so a little bit of a variety for you today so yeah let me reveal who those are um, so we have boot FM and we have Michelinio and if you are not familiar with either of those I imagine everyone is familiar with Bood he has been around the YouTube scene for a, an awfully long time he makes really really good unique content um, and I would highly highly advise anyone who is not familiar with his content to go over and give it a try he's also one of the really good guys in FM massively supportive to many of the smaller creators um, that, are, that are coming up and uh, constantly trying to sort of push um, smaller creators to uh, achieve bigger and better things so um, often hear lots and lots of really good stories about boot so yeah if you're not familiar with him go and give him a sub and uh, and check out what he's got to say. Michelinio, on the other hand, uh, I first became aware of him as a blogger. He featured on one of my FM Creator News episodes where I was talk, sort of talking about interesting blogs to read. Definitely would suggest anything written by him is well worth a read. But in recent times, he has moved over to Twitch and he is making a name for himself on Twitch. Uh, the people who are watching him and anyone who comes across him really are really enjoying his content i think particularly uh particularly his uh his, his roy keen um based content um it's not a mask it's not a mask it, he, he he gets tied up by roy keen and gets put in his his basement it's weird he enjoys it as well but uh well worth watching well worth go over to uh, go over to twitch um and i've links to both these guys are down below go over to their their channels give them a follow or a sub uh, depending on what platform you're on it is well worth it and 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 jump on to uh, uh, enjoy their content okay guys enough waffle for me um we can go for three minutes so that's three minutes too long isn't it let's go and see what these guys have got to say say for themselves Hello, I'm Bood FM and welcome to another episode of the FM Creator Showcase. I've wanted to come on this for absolutely ages, just never really got around to it. I love it, I watch it all the time, so it's an absolute pleasure and an honour, really. Um, I am a football manager YouTuber. I don't have anything against Twitch or blogging or anything like that. I just fully focus on YouTube. I, I absolutely love it um, and it's definitely my hobby. I'm from Manchester in England. I'm married to an amazing woman, very lucky to have her. We have a three-year-old son, and she's currently pregnant as well. So we've got a, another son on the way. He's due in a couple of months, so it's going to get very interested in my household soon. Hopefully, I can still make videos because I don't ever want to stop. So my channel, like I said, is a football manager channel. That's all I do. Um, I have done the odd vlog, and I do intend to actually do some football vlogs in the future. I've got a whole series plan that we're supposed to start this year in 2020 but uh, coronavirus ruined it and um, hopefully we can kick start that next year it's still football related just not football manager related but when it comes to me my fm content i've done everything i think i don't want to pigeonhole myself and i've never tried to always try to change and evolve and i do what i feel like i want to do i don't look at other people i don't follow a trend i just do all, what i want to do so you know i've done your standard let's plays uh long based storytelling um, experiments, standard boring experiments, mad experiments, experiments with stories involved. They've been pretty popular for me. I've done 
editor guides, game guides. Um, I've done rebuilds. That's a very um, successful series for me as well. And just random little videos. I like to do whatever I feel like doing. As long as I enjoy doing and I'll say that to anyone out there, if you create content and, and you're struggling or you want to start doing it, um, just do what you want to do. You've got to have fun with this because you don't get a lot back. I, I promise you that. It's tough. It's a tough thing to get, get into, really. So, yeah, that's pretty much my channel. Bit of everything for everyone. So the content I'm currently making, um, at the minute, I'm doing a rebuild. I've been doing that rebuild series since the end of FM19. I've done like 20 odd clubs. So at the minute, I'm uh, rebuilding Dundee United. The series started where I'd take over a fallen giant and I gave myself like three or four seasons to try and improve him. So, you know, I've done Man United, Arsenal uh, teams abroad like Valencia. Um, and then I kind of started developing the series and challenging myself a bit. I've done Coventry. That was my favourite. Trying to get Coventry back to the Premier League. Palermo from the Division 4 in Italy back up. St Etienne. But at the minute, I'm doing Dundee United. Um, trying to get them back to their 80s heyday. And it's an absolute pleasure. I absolutely love it. And also, I've kind of shied away from the live com long storytelling Let's Play because everyone seems to do that. And I don't think it's the most popular thing out there. Uh, even though I absolutely love doing it, I love live comms, um, and I've not done one for since I've not done one for about eight months or something. So I've dipped my toe back in and gone all the way back to where I started. My very first let's play, very first series on YouTube was on FM16 with Stockport County. I had a great experience with the club, and I've stayed close to the club um, since that. So I brought that back. I've got a series called the um, Scarf My Father War, named after their famous song. Uh, with Stockport County, I'm just having fun. I'm not worrying about figures, viewers, anything. Uh, I'm just enjoying myself, and that's what I keep saying. You've got to enjoy yourself to put the freaking time in because it's hard work. Right, I've just clicked the demand mode and gone through yet. I'm, I'm looking at our bench, and I don't know if I've got anyone on there. What I bring on who I think can change a game. I think I'm going to leave it as it is, just in case it ends up in extra time. And I'll I'll, I'll make subs then for fitness reasons. Good bit of football though, and we've done it. We've scored one, Lloydy. My future plans for the channel are to just keep going and uh, have fun, like I always say. Uh, I've got ideas. I'm working with a local non-league team who have got a great story behind that, a real story, something fantastic, really. That'll be my um, FM21 main series to start off with. I'll probably do a beta, maybe. I don't really touch betas most of the time, but I fancy being Manchester United because I'm a Man United fan. I, don't, I haven't really done much with Manchester United in the past. I'd like to do something proper with them next year. Um, and again, I've got a million ideas. My stories, um, some of you may know about them, where I just create an entire story that builds you into the game. I've got a load of them coming up, but I'm what saved them for FM 21. My rebuilds will carry on. And then the main thing, really, that I'm really excited for is my football vlogs, because I live in a great part of the country. And me and my friends, a few different friends, are gonna, all going to help do it. And it's going to be a great series, I think. It's going to be exciting and fun and different and all about football really so yeah that's the future of the channel what made me start making fm content well i've made videos since i was a little kid um <laughs> i am an 80s child and i was very lucky to have a big camcorder and my dad had one so i used to rope all my mates into making movies we made terminator universal soldier cliffhanger the list goes on i've still got them all on vhs that's shocking but um, I always loved making film. And then when I got a bit older and I finally got my hands on um, Windows Movie Maker, I started making little videos, a couple of them on my channel, if you go right to the back. Some have had the sound taken off. But I started making family videos and really enjoying editing. I absolutely love editing. And then I've played Football Manager for over 20 years. So I'd ne I never even thought about putting them together until 2015. I uh, slipped a disc in my back and I couldn't walk for about three months. And I was off work for six, so I was like, I didn't have Netflix. So I'm like, I watched everything on YouTube, everything. And I came across a certain YouTuber and I was like, wait a minute, I can edit and play Football Manager at the same time and chat. I love this. So in 2016, once I got better, um, I got my stuff together. I got a basic set up. I mean, I see all these guys starting out and they're spending thousands. I wouldn't do that. I didn't even spend a couple hundred quid. <laughs> And I started out, you could probably tell though, but I've done all right. And I started and I've loved it and I have never stopped. Never. Love it. Whose FM content do I enjoy watching? Well, 
if you ask anyone who's done this as long as me and there's loads, um, you'll, you'll, they'll be honest with you. If they're honest with you, they'll say they don't watch a lot. And that's because you've done it so long. And to have any kind of success in this, you need to be consistent. So to be consistent, you have to always be playing the game, editing the game, looking at the game. It's all FM, FM, FM. And I am a married man with a full-time job and a kid, two kids soon. So your time is limited. But then I also like to watch it still. I used to watch hours of it. And um, I just have to limit my time. So what I'll do is I'll dip into certain people, some more than others. Um, so, you know, I'll be honest with you, the, the main guy I like to watch is that guy, JC. I think he's a bloody brilliant comedian. He's lovely. He's a top, top bloke. Um, how he's not got more than a thousand subscribers when other people have. I have no, no idea. Uh, Omega Luke, I think he's a big, big talent. We've got a lot in common, me and him. It's a bit weird, actually, how much we've got in common. Um, he is apparently on record to being the second best hat wearer in the community, after me, of course. Um, but I think he is really good. Um, I like Avoiding Relegation, the Oldham boy, because it's not far from me. And I like Oldham. I like FM Union, the American kid. I think he's got a big future and I dip into all these anyone new I'll always watch something um, and there's loads really but I do watch the cost of profit and it's not just because I'm on his channel I think what he does is fantastic and um, I know how hard it is to edit I know how much effort you have to put into a video and when he does things like this he's spending hours doing this putting this together for us and um, he could be doing that on his own channel he could be putting all that energy into his own channel and I think he's a family man so he's you know he's sacrificing for others in a way and trying to promote others and I I really, you know, tip me out off to him because I think it's really good what he's done and I think this series is a great thing and that's why I wanted to come on it. Hopefully through my own channel I can promote it and get the guy some subscribers because he deserves loads. And I'll be honest with you, this year there's been a freaking boom and I mean, I'd say 90% of the people I, I started with have gone apart from the big boys and then uh, there's loads. I'm looking now and every other day I'm getting followed by a new guy and it's hard. I'll be honest with you, while I'm on this now, it is tough. If I started now, I'd probably do GTA or FIFA because football manager, it's hard. We've got this little viewership and we're all fighting over the same bit, of, this little bit of pie. So you've really got to like be special. But you know, there's a lot of good talent out there. I've watched a few episodes recently of new guys and there's some really, really, really talented guys out there. It's just getting your name out. So good luck to all of you. It's hard work. Right, to wrap up, um, I just want to say thank you for checking this out. If you've come over from my channel, make sure you drop uh, Custard Profit a subscription. Make sure you watch all this series and check all the guys out. There's some absolutely talent, top talented guys on here that just need that exposure. It's hard, like I said. Um, but as for my channel, if you've never checked it out, hopefully you will and you'll enjoy it. Um, I like to, I'm a bit down to earth. I'm not, I don't take myself too seriously. I might drop the odd F-bomb. Do you know what I mean? I just... I just do what I do because I'll absolutely love it. No matter what comes my way in the community or in any other way, I just brush it off, man. I'm a grown up. I love it. I love what I do and I'll, I i will not stop unless my two kids are hard work and that'll be it. But yeah, thank you very much for checking this out. It's been a pleasure to be on this channel. Another one of my dreams has been completed. Thank you, Custard. Mr. Custard, I call him. Thank you very much for having me on. Just give it to Slate on the edge of the box. Give it to Regan. Here's Walker. Come on, look, turns. Holds it up, doesn't he? Looks patient. Gives the ball away. Here's Dilla. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, hello there. Uh, let me just... Uh... I just get it. It's a bit tight here, but there we go. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Okay, let's get the obvious out of the way. I am under a staircase and it's tight, but this is where the actual magic happens. Fins the jätterum, so fins the jätterum, as we say in Sweden, which literally translates into if there's room in the heart, there's room for the butt. But I think you get where I'm going with this. Uh, I am Michaelinho FM and if you haven't already figured that out, I'm Swedish. Uh, I've been blogging about FM for a little more than two years, uh, but I've only recently started streaming on Twitch. Uh, 
me myself as a football manager player I love a good backstory and I also really love the play development side of things so <laughs> my sayings usually more or less revolve around wonder kids at one point or another it doesn't really matter where I start the the actual story or save off uh, it ends up with being a youth development save which is something I really enjoy and I actually think that I'm half decent at it uh, I've also got a site that's a bit more nerdy where I can get lost in a good spreadsheet for days and <laughs> this results in most of my saves incorporating some sort of play rating system as well. That is one of the trademarks for my save series. Uh, I have played around with a few different saves but my most frequent one has been my Santa save. Uh, it's a bit of an odd bird because I am not all about trying to create a dynasty or trying to make the team as good as possible. Uh, I desperately want to try to create the next Brazilian superstar and this is what it's all about. Uh, I'm trying to create the third great Brazilian player after Pelé and Neymar and I know that this narrative is a bit of a stretch. I have overlooked several good Brazilian players but it really suits the narrative because both Pelé and Neymar came through the Santos Youth Academy. So the rules for my series is that for a player to be eligible for this challenge, I need to sign them at age 18 at the latest. Then the player needs to score 100 goals before for Santos before moving on to Europe, which is something that both Pelé and Neymar did. And then they need to play a lot of games for Brazil, uh, be successful uh, as an international player, win the World Cup, uh, go abroad and win titles, and then also reach a Jenga rating of at least 90. And now we get to the sort of play rating fetish that I've got and you have no idea what Jenga rating is. You might not even know what the term Jenga is all about and I'll explain that quickly to you. Jenga is a three point movement in the martial arts capoeira which is a Brazilian martial arts. Uh, it is what gives it the sort of uh, dancing quality to it but it's also a term in football about players with a bit more of pizzazz, a bit more magic uh, players that can do the uh, the unexpected and I have tried to translate that into uh, football manager and I've ended up with a rating system that consists of five attributes dribbling technique flair acceleration and agility and uh, as you saw in the previous pick I need my players to reach at least a jinga rating of 90. <laughs> this has proven to be basically <laughs> impossible. Uh, I'm 13 seasons in. I have had one player reach 88 in jinga rating but I sent a lot of players over to Europe after scoring 100 goals for us. Uh, it becomes nice stories. Uh, I have several players that I uh, really really like and I also have my favourite new gen player of all time called William 2.0 in this save and you see I'm sitting with a Santos jersey on me now so I'm really enjoying that save and uh, I have really enjoyed blogging and streaming and playing this series uh, and I also said I'm going to keep it alive until I get the next Pele or until FM21 hits the shelves. Okay, Norm, there we go. We are getting one goal closer to me throat singing my heart out. That's a decent shot from him. Nom, or Nomaldinho, as he is called in his full no, name. No, that's not his full name. His full name is 127 characters long. It's Nomanka Pakni Grupa Likba Puche Inyo. But I'm not going to say that every time. Uh, a little bit about my reasoning behind starting to stream was pretty much the same as starting to blog. I do love a good series, I do love a good story and I wanted to share my stories with people and uh, uh, I'm also the type of person who likes to push my uh, boundaries and my comfort zone a bit which I really did when I first started blogging and now I took the leap when I started streaming in a foreign language. Uh, and the first few streams they were a bit shaky uh, and sitting under a staircase really didn't help but <laughs> that's the way it is uh, but I think I'm slowly but steadily finding my own style and I enjoyed it so much that I actually plan to start a YouTube channel as well and start a series there so that's something to look out for my actual uh, channel and the save that's going to come later on.
Uh, when it comes to other people's content, I think there are so many talented people out there, both the big guys and a lot of smaller content creators. I really appreciate this initiative with the Creator Showcase, giving smaller guys like me a chance to reach a wider audience. Uh, and I think this is a great community. Uh, you can have so much fun both playing and actually uh, taking part of other players' uh, content. Uh, and if I was to name one person that I follow religiously, then it's Evan Lama. Uh, he has really hit the ground running with his two YouTube series. Uh, he has a unique style and I usually watch the episodes with a big smile on my face. So if you haven't checked him out, you better go and do that right away. Uh, and finally, a bit of advice to new streamers is to basically just try it out. Uh, throw yourself out there, find your own style, enjoy what you do. Don't try to be something you're not. Uh, if you enjoy it, that will shine through and people will enjoy what they are seeing. So that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this little look into my life and my thinking. Take care. Bye. Just run through that for a while. There we go. Get it out. Come on. Uh, that's a decent finish. Top end finish from Diego. And we are 1 0 up. Uh, the attack started with. Whoa. Well, thank you to both of those awesome creators for putting those uh, brilliant um, uh, creator showcase uh, videos together for me. Um, hugely enjoyed um, watching them myself and um, big thanks to Bood for uh, making me a stormtrooper. One of my lifelong ambitions now fulfilled, so uh, that's good. Um, as I said earlier, all the links to their channels are down below in the description. Make sure you go and check those out. Uh, make sure you go and follow Michelinio on on Twitch. Um, go and check out his. Um, go and go and check out as he goes live. He does tend to say when he's going live on Twitter. So uh, follow him on Twitter as well for that information. And Bood regular regularly uploads uh, content to his channel. So go and go and drop him a sub if you are not familiar with him or not subbed already. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Uh, hugely appreciate you watching this far. And uh, if you have enjoyed the video, would massively appreciate a, a like on the video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Um, also hit that notification bell if you want. Um, that will just mean that you will see all of the uh, the content that I put up. Uh, this vast amount of it is FM based. I've got a couple of uh, Let's Play saves going on at the minute, uh, but also some other bits and pieces that go on which relate to the FM community. So, um, and those come out sort of every sort of couple of weeks or so. And uh, finally, in the comments down below, let me know, uh, let me know your thoughts on, on this episode or on anyone else who you think I should be follow featuring on the Creator Showcase. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.